um, to where checking out. And yeah, and grabbing some water as well. All right, we're filled up with water. We're heading out. Sierra is putting up the sails again. We are heading east slash north. <laughs> I was trying to convince Sierra to, for us to stop and clean the bottom of the boat off this beach over here because we haven't cleaned it in like four weeks and we definitely have a little bit of growth uh, under there. Probably not barnacles, but definitely some growth. She didn't want to. We're just cruising. Might go a little slow today, we'll see. workout for the day. It's blowing like 10 knots and we're doing six knots. We are on a tight reach. We're on a tight reach. coming from the northeast kind of right in the direction we want to go so we're tacking we're beating into it we're like five miles offshore now we just got into some deeper water deeper blue water so we threw some lines out some little squid skirts so we're trying to catch a fish we're trying we're just gonna tack way out here I think for a bit and that way at least we get a little push to the towards the east from the Gulf Stream and then we'll tack back to shore day and we are almost to Indian Key. We did a big tack out and a big tack in and we didn't catch any fish. We're just about there. That's where we're going. Right behind Indian Key. Just put the Genoa away. Did that. And we're about to drop the mainsail. We're gonna tuck up behind Indian Key right over here. Pretty good day. Let's look at our trip. Max speed, 8.7 knots. Average speed, 6.3 knots. Beating into the wind. Now the only thing I'm not satisfied with is our angles. Now you sailors out there, tell me. I think that we tack between 90 degrees, does that make sense? But I thought we would have, a, a, like there's the Gulf Stream current out here, so I thought we'd have a little bit more of an angle into the wind both ways. Uh, at least we kept our speed up the whole way. And now it's time to launch the dinghy. Sierra wants to go lobstering, so I guess we're going to lobstering. I told him if he didn't come with me, I wasn't gonna share. We were here what? like three weeks ago, and there was a zillion lobster. A lot of them were too small, but they've had three weeks to grow. Good morning, you guys. We are on our daily walk with Jetty on Indian Key. And we're getting ready for a full day of travel today. Cruising back up the keys. It looks like the wind is coming pretty much straight out of the direction we want to go, so. We gotta use our engines today. Yeah, we're probably just gonna motor straight into it to get through either Snake Creek or Angelfish Creek to get on the bay side because we're supposed to get some nasty wind, like 30 knots by the end of the day from the northeast. So we can get a little protection on the bay side. And then tomorrow it'll be a little bit more from the east. So hopefully we'll be able to sail up through Biscayne Bay and that whole area. 
little breezy, huh? That's where we're going, straight that way. We tried to get the head sail out for a little bit, but there's just not enough of an angle to, instead of motoring on the outside, on the ocean side, we're going through Snake Creek again, through Snake Creek Bridge, and we're gonna be motoring on the inside for today. Just approaching Cotton Key Basin, so we'll be protected from the bigger chop and swell that we're coming in on the ocean side. Still windy, sun's coming out though. It's turning into a pretty nice day, won't you say, Jetty? Jetty's excited to not be in any choppy, rough stuff. Sierra's turned to drive. I'm doing some video editing. We're in the bay much much calmer super windy it's crazy out there it must be like 30 knots in barn sound right now and we only have like four more miles to go to where we're gonna anchor it's so windy it's crazy it's like well I guess not too crazy but it's like 30 knots so we're gonna anchor up on the north side of barn sound just behind the land up there we're almost there Protected on both sides, the wind will be blowing from the northeast and then maybe a little bit from the east. So we'll be super protected in here. And this is our anchorage for the evening. Much calmer in here. exploring these little mangrove trails back here. Pretty neat. And there's the bay. Oh, there's our boat. All right, we've been sitting in our chair or just moseying around the boat all day long. So it's time to get some activity in and we're doing yoga with Adrian. She's my favorite. High five. Good girl. Ooh, it is so windy. Probably averaging about 30 knots. And we're headed right into it again, pretty much. We have a tiny bit of an angle, but not enough to sail. And we were going so slow just trying to motor into this wind and all the chop. 
we got to keep it like <laughs> as straight as we can into it for now while the chop is big otherwise if it catches our bows just a little bit it really pushes it over but we're just motoring up through card sound right now and i think once we get into biscayne bay the wind's out of the northeast right now so we'll have plenty angle to sail in biscayne bay and the wind is even supposed to shift a little more east later on in the day so probably go a lot faster for now we're motoring slow doing like three to four knots all right we're almost in Key Biscayne we're going through this last little cut right here we put the mainsail up to get ready we're fully reefed on the main sail, so it's, I guess, triple reef. And uh, also helping us stay a little bit straighter in, into the wind while we're motoring, but we're about to sail because we'll have a better angle as soon as we get out, out of this cut into Biscayne Bay. Super windy still, 30 knots easy. Check out these boats coming through. All right, we put all the sails up and turned the engines off and we're definitely going faster. We're close hauled still. Woo! Sierra's taking her turn steering for a bit. Me and Jenny are just hanging out, aren't we? Why are you leaving me? Where are you going? Are we there? here we have Miami in the background and we're heading to the Marine Stadium where we anchored last time we were here hopefully we're super protected in here I don't even know if we're gonna allow to anchor in here so they're setting up for the Miami boat show here happening shortly that was a long day we're all anchored up here in the Marine Stadium. Check it out, all behind us are a ton of docks they put in for the Miami Boat Show. Pretty crazy. Usually none of these docks are in here. And there's a bunch more boats anchored, so they must have kicked the boats who anchor here full time. They must have kicked them out for the show or something. And we've got some crew teams practicing all around us. 